Okay, now these are simple decimal equations and I'm going to show you two ways to solve them. One way is just bring it across the border and work with them as decimals. So you have Q by itself here, 4.4 there, and the minus 1.4 becomes a plus 1.4 when it crosses the border. Okay, now you just do your addition. 4.4 plus 1.4 is 5.8 and that's your answer. Okay, now earlier I showed you that you could use decimals, you could get rid of decimals by multiplying everything by 10. Okay, now Q is the same as 1Q there. So if I multiply this by 10, I move it one decimal place. So, but I'd have to move that by tens to move it one decimal place and multiply that by ten to move it one decimal place. If you wanted to move everything two decimal places, you'd multiply everything by a hundred. If you wanted to do everything three decimal places, you have to do it times a thousand. Okay, you've got to be consistent. If you're moving something by three decimal places, everything gets moved by three decimal places. This would give me negative fourteen and that's 10q. Once I move the decimal one place to the right, I get it as 10, and this is 44. Go cross-border shopping with the minus 14, and it becomes plus 14. I get 10q is 58, and then I divide both sides by the same thing, which is 10, because q has been multiplied by 10 and out pops the same answer as I got before. Q is 5.8. Okay, so you can see there's a lot more steps on the right than the left. If there's only simple decimal questions, then you probably can keep them all as decimals to keep your answers uh, quicker. If there's a lot of decimals in your question, you probably want to multiply everything by 10, 100, or 1,000, and get rid of the decimals. And uh, it's strictly up to you which way you, tr you treat the answer.